So now we just need to get that little icon in here, and that should be a file in the folder. So I'll go File, Place. We'll find that in the left panel. Now it's quite large, so again, this has been placed in. We want to do Command Shift, click and drag. Command Shift, click and drag. There we go. All right, so on the next one, it's getting a little simple. The inside is definitely a little more complicated text-wise, but we're going to bring place in that logo. So again, file in place, Command D. Scale that down, Command Shift, click and drag. If you add Option into that, Command Shift, click and drag with Option, you can scale centrifugally. Centrifugally, it's a hard word to say. I'm just going to align it. I can't help myself. Have to have to have some aspect of alignment going on in this. There we go. And then the contact us information. So you can you can replicate that, put whatever you like. So I'm just going to grab some type here. Turn the rule off. I don't want the rule on this. So I'll go back into my paragraph panel just because I copied and pasted from that just to save myself grabbing the type. So I have to turn that rule off. And this says contact us. some type from there. Make it white. And we still have that rule there for some reason. So I'm going to go back and make sure I clean out all the rules on that. I guess it was just a little redraw glitch. It's not actually there. And I'm going to close up. You can see that this again is the space after, but there's probably also a return. So I'm going to do a forward delete here. Function delete. And function is on your Mac. It's in the lower left. Function delete. Return. So this letting just has to be closed up. And then this is where I would put the address. So I'm not going to type the entire address myself, but you guys will for your submission. Keep that tidy. OK. So now over here, we have another box another replication of this kind of setup so we can do another copy paste and we have the logo so I'm gonna do the box the box comes just up the scissors and so I'll get it as close as I can here there making sure I go to the bleed 
I'll sample with my eyedropper the color that we have going on with the panel there. That's probably a good color to bring into my swatches as well. So I have it. And then I'm just going to do the opacity on that. Pull that back a bit. And I'll copy this text frame. So ideally, I'm making sure that I maintain all the exact settings in this. I'm just going to change the content. So I'm just going to, I'm using my option key to copy that text frame over. And I think I was holding down the wrong key there. There we go. And I'll bring it to the front. So you can do arrange or you'll have to make sure it's selected, of course. Arrange or I'm just going to do my key commands because that's what I'm used to. Command shift in my right square bracket. But uh, arrange is obviously there. You could bring it send to front since it was at the back. Now it's at the front. And I'm just going to delete this content that I don't need. And product overview. Brochure. And one thing you want to do when you're working with InDesign, you really do want to work tidily so I don't need this long text frame anymore I'm going to bring it right up to where it's tucked up to its content and it's just it's just good practice to work tidy that way and then we'll place that logo in quite large again Command shift, click and drag. And remember command shift is so that you're scaling both the frame and its contents. Go a little smaller, command shift option, scales from the center. There we go. And if I want to make sure this is in the center of the column, which I do, it's a good idea to use a shape. So I'm just going to use a rectangle and I'll go to the page edge, not the, gu not the guide for the bleed, the page edge, because that's going to be true center when this gets trimmed away. And then I can bring out a guide if I like so that I know, okay, I need to move this over just with my arrow keys, I'll nudge it over a bit. Then be sure to get rid of that rectangle I used. Press W, see how it looks. Okay, so that's the outside. Obviously when we get into the inside, it's a little more complicated type-wise, but not too bad. It's just, it looks like more because it's got more content, but we've remember we always want to work from the big picture down to the details. So we have a panel with a picture, a blank panel, then another colored panel, so we saved that swatch. We have two images to place in, body type, the bottom that really shouldn't stretch across a full, but that's fine in this case. That's quite the long line. This is an example of what not to do in horizontal measure where you have too much type traveling too far like that. But don't worry about it. For this we can do it. And then we have the titles and descriptions here. Okay, so we'll do that in the next tutorial for next week. But we've got the outside completed and it looks pretty good.